What's up? My name is Technobly here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another OBS Studio Guide. In this case, we're going through brand new features added in OBS Studio 28. Currently, it's a beta, though this should definitely work long into the future. In the description down below, you'll find other feature guides as well as possible updates to this if anything major changes since its release. Opening up OBS Studio, finally something added with 28 Beta 1 is application-specific audio recording. This means you can record certain apps on your PC, whether they're games or whatever, and not pick up anything in the background, like Discord, Skype, etc. It's incredibly useful, and of course was only previously possible through the use of plugins. Now with this brand new release of OBS Studio, it's built in, and you're able to use it to its full extent, so do note it's currently definitely still in beta. If I click the plus button over here next to my sources, you'll see a brand new option here, application audio capture beta. Right below this, you can see application audio output capture. This is the plugin that I have installed that allows me to record specific windows. This is what the plugin looks like. But if we add another option here, the beta version that's now official in OBS Studio, you'll see things look somewhat more simplified, but it's pretty much the same. Select a window from the drop down here, choose a window match priority, the same way you would automatically capturing windows of the same type, title, file executable, etc. And once you've set it once, you can comfortably forget about it and you'll now see a brand new option here. Let me just remove the plugin version, the application audio capture, whatever it is here. I'll simply rename this to say Discord Audio. And you can see it pop up here. If I select, say, Discord from the drop down here, or maybe Spotify, as there's audio coming through here, you can see it's playing whatever I have in Spotify here. We can change the volume as per usual. And of course, we can click the dots, audio properties to set up where it's piped into, etc., for multi track recording, which I would highly recommend. Find a link down below for a guide on that. Filters etc etc it's a brand new audio input now specifically for certain apps it's a great way of splitting up what you're currently recording you can record the game and discord separately that way no matter what tabs you go to or music you're playing on spotify you can enjoy it and your recording doesn't have to hear any of it it's very good to check back here once in a while to make sure that everything is recording properly as things may change, applications may not be picked up, and you may need to update them here, as well as your window match properties here. You can see the song changed and Spotify is no longer being recorded, but I can choose same, same executable, OK, and all of a sudden it's now updating as you would expect. It's playing through the song as I'm listening to it. Awesome. Obviously, copyrighted material isn't something you want to be streaming, but it's just an example. Thank you all for watching. My name's been taken over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.